everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. Today I'm going to be filming a day in my life as a Yale student athlete and we have a jam-packed day ahead of us, so let's get into it. those of you who are new to my channel hello my name is Tia and I'm a sophomore studying psychology here at Yale and I am on the women's track and cross country team um, which means we are the only sport that competes all three seasons which is lovely so if I could describe my daily life in one word I would say hectic and if I could describe it in five words I would say I don't have free time ever that's six words but it's true. <laughs> Today is a Thursday and Thursdays are my busiest days of classes. I am currently speed walking to pick up a grab and go breakfast from one of the dining halls and then I need to head to my first class of the day which starts at 9.25 a.m. breakfast this morning is going to be a little oatmeal and hard-boiled egg on the go situation not the most glamorous but we have practice this afternoon so gotta get in that energy like I mentioned Thursdays are my busiest days of classes so I have a two-hour seminar this morning it's actually about the Olympic Games it's really interesting it's on the history of the Olympic Games starting back in ancient Greece and then we like move all the way forward through till the modern day games today and it's a cool class as well because everyone in there is a college athlete and two of the students are actually Olympians. One is an Olympic gold medalist. So it's a pretty cool, oh, echoey. It's a pretty cool group of students in that class. So I have that this morning from 9.25 until 11.15. Then I have my Spanish class from 11.35 until 12.25. And then, sorry about the traffic. And then I have my psychology and the good life class. Well, that's like a lecture um, from one until 2.15. And then I have practice, I have to get on the bus at 2.30 and we have practice all afternoon until dinner time. So jam-packed day today. I don't really have time to eat lunch because I have like half an hour between Spanish and psychology but it's like a good 15 minute walk to my psychology class so it's not really enough time to go into the dining hall, get lunch, eat lunch, etc. So it's a breakfast on the go and lunch on the go situation today but that is all right. We make it work. <laughs> we just finished our Olympics class. We got to hold a gold medal, which was very exciting. We did indeed. What else did we do? We watched some advertisements. We talked about McDonald's in the Olympics. Good class. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so as you saw, I just got out of my Olympic seminar with Julia and we then like walk halfway oh. and then we walk back to my Spanish class together and then she leaves me and continues on to her next class and I am going to Spanish because yo tengo mi clase de español um, right now. <laughs> I feel like everyone's staring at me right now. Actually, no one's staring at me. No one cares. Act confident and no one will question you. Oh. 
Ok, español fue muy buena y ahora necesito ir a mi dormitorio porque mi ensalada es en mi refrigerador en mi dormitorio y necesito, necesito comer mi ensalada. <laughs> sí, I hope that made sense. Pero, um, I need a brush <laughs> because I only have like not that long before I need to get to my next class. Okay, I'm about to show you the most <laughs> random and unappetizing looking lunch in the history of the world because like I mentioned, I just don't have time to go to the dining halls on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So this is what we're working with. In here we have some tofu, we have some potatoes, and then in here we just have salad and I'm just gonna like put this together and just eat it really quickly. I have like five minutes here to eat all of that before I need to head back up to my next class because Psychology in the Good Life is on Science Hill which is like a 20 minute walk from my dorm room. So this food needs to be eaten super quickly and I'm starving because all I've had to eat today is like a tiny bit of oatmeal and two boiled eggs. <sighs> Okay, so we're now back outside and heading to Psychology in the Good Life. Sometimes on Thursdays I do actually just watch this lecture online because otherwise I don't really have that much time to eat lunch. But today we got told like we should try and come in person if possible because they're doing some like activity that you can't really do if you're watching it virtually. So I'm heading up to Science Hill and that lecture goes from 1 until 2.15. Then I need to quickly go and get a COVID test after that and then hop on the bus to practice and we have practice all afternoon so busy day but good day. Also I realised I put Julia on the vlog this morning without introducing her so if you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while you will have seen Julia on them before but she is one of my teammates. She is also a sophomore on the track and cross country team um, and we have two classes together. Both of them are history seminars because she's a history major and I'm not. I'm a psychology major but <laughs> I am taking a couple of history seminars this semester because I find them really interesting and also because I need to get some like distribution and subject credits um, just because that's what you have to get at Yale. So yeah, I had my Olympic Games seminar with Julia this morning and we also have a seminar together about US history on Wednesdays. And I'm definitely gonna be late to psychology, but that's okay, because it's a big lecture. I'll only be like two minutes late, but I hate being late. It's also such a nice day today and it's making me so happy because, oh gosh, spring is finally here. No. Uh, so annoying, I need to get across here. Okay, in a dramatic turn of events, I think I'm actually gonna be on time. Go me and my fast walking skills. Okay, so I just got done with my COVID test. The line was so long because I guess everyone's like coming after their 2.15 classes. Um, so I'm definitely not gonna be on the 2.30 bus because it's like 2.36 right now. Um, so I'm just gonna try and get on the next one. Is that like 2.40 or 2.45? I don't know, the bus schedule. The buses do not run to their schedule <laughs> most of the time, um, but it's really not that much of a big deal. I have been catching kind of later practice buses recently just because otherwise I get there earlier and then I just take longer to get changed and then I just waste time, so. We have just 
just got off the bus and we're here at practice. Oh yeah. And making an appearance again. <laughs> Emma's coming back from being injured. She's been working so hard. Oh, thanks. First yeah. race potentially coming yes, soon. Yes, I'm so excited. Yay. Oh no, I'm just doing, I'm just doing like a go through of the day. I'm about to plan to get run away to LA for a minute. See, I'm making a hand the camera around. Okay, I'm not fooling anyone. As you just saw, I was studying in the library. I was only there for like half an hour. I just had to finish off something for Spanish. Um, but it's currently 9 p.m. I went straight from dinner to the library. <laughs> but we just get back from practice so late that we get out of dinner so late that then you get to the library so late. And there's basically not that much time in the evenings to do work if, like me, you like to get to bed early, which most college students definitely do not. But I really prioritize my sleep. Like I get nine hours most nights and I like to wake up not too late. So I try to get to bed at like 10.30 and then wake up at 7.30. That's kind of like my usual routine. Sometimes it ends up being like 11 to 8, other times it's like 10 to 7, but somewhere in that range is kind of my sweet spot. I don't know what's going on tonight, but there's a lot of people outside right now dressed up in very different and very weird costumes. I think the Secret societies at Yale might be like doing their recruiting and interviews for new members right now because there's some <laughs> there's some weird things going on. I'm back in my room now, but I was just gonna say in Psych and the Good Life today, um, my professor got a little bit annoyed because there was these two people who were dressed up in like 
rainbow outfits and had these like ant rainbow antenna on on their heads and they like stood at opposite sides of the lecture hall this was like right in the middle of the lecture <laughs> they like stood up on opposite sides of the lecture hall and just like interrupted the lecture and started like telling knock knock jokes to each other <laughs> my professor was not she was not having that um and then when i was studying in star in sterling just before this group of girls came in and one of them like sat down like just I think you might have seen it in the back of the time lapse. They sat down like at the other end of the table and basically she was being filmed like saying something silly to the camera. And there's people in like Greek costumes and fancy hats and random... I think something else be going on. It's... I don't think it's sororities because I think that happens like at the start of semester. So I think it might be secret societies. But I don't know all these American things. I don't know. Here's my little step total for the day. 24,000 steps. Not too bad. I normally get somewhere between like 20,000 and 25,000 steps per day. But sometimes if we have like a big workout or if I go out in the evenings, which I never do, <laughs> but if I do, the like two times that I've been out my entire sophomore year, um, I get like above 30,000. It's, it's a lot. It really is a lot because you're just walking everywhere all day. But I like walking, so it's fine. Because we shower in the locker rooms after practice, that means that when I come back into my room, I can just get changed into my pajamas. I'm trying not to show too much of the mess on my bedroom floor right now because we definitely have a solid floor drobe going on. Like, more of my clothes are on my floor than in my wardrobe. I'm just going to have a little bit of dessert now. Probably watch a little bit of YouTube or Netflix. Here is part of my dessert. I am just having some yogurt. That actually looks super unappetizing. Wow, why does it look lumpy? Okay, um, and some strawberries. If you guys want to see a full video of everything that I eat in a day at the Yale College Dining Halls, I filmed a video exactly of that a couple of weeks ago so that is up on my channel um i haven't shown you everything that i'm eating today but if you are interested in the food aspect of things then that video is there for you to watch if you would like so it is currently just after 10 p.m and i'm heading to bed i'm just gonna read in bed for a little while and then probably turn my light out around 10 30. also I just want to say, I have been so good at reading this year. One of my New Year's goals for this year was to read six books because for the past like five or so years, I just have not really read for pleasure. I've just read the books that I've had to read for school or college. And when I was younger, I was such an avid reader. Like I was reading all the time for the last couple of years of high school and then college so far. I just have not been reading. But this year I was like, okay, I'm going to set a goal as six books to read for the entire year. So that's like one book every two months. And we're currently in April and I have already read three books and I'm halfway through my fourth one so I'm on track to smash my goal um, which I'm quite proud of myself for actually like implementing this in my life because I can definitely tell it's improving my just like happiness and overall it's it's not a big thing to do just reading before I go to bed at night but it's it's making a it's making a positive impact on my life um so the book I'm currently reading is red white and royal blue and oh my goodness this is my new favorite book. Guys, if you haven't read this, it is so good. Would highly recommend. So I'm going to finish off my night with reading a little bit of that. And normally I get very into it. And I need to like force myself to put the book down and turn the light off around 10.30. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you have, please give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know what other sorts of videos you would want me to film. We're almost at the end of the semester, but I still have two more years to go at college and I'm going to film lots of videos over summer break. Lots of exciting content to come in the future and I have had this YouTube channel, if you're new to my channel, <laughs> I've had this YouTube channel for like four and a half years so there is plenty of content on my channel. There's like I think 250 videos on my channel so if you are new to my channel then I would love it if you could consider subscribing below and go check out some of my other videos if you think you might be interested. Thank you so much to all of you for getting to the end of the video. I really appreciate you all being here. If you're not already please follow me on Instagram as well for more like day-to-day -day updates on my life and that is all from me. So I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!